didn't recognize it at the time. Other facilities with links to wasps have been investigated following allegations of abuse. Two closed down. One of the problems in finding out how your child is coping with the regime is that communication is so limited. Low-level children can write to their parents, but rules forbid them from meeting them or even talking on the phone. It can take up to four months or more to earn the right for a monthly call, and even that is monitored by members of staff. You were there for how long? 13 months. And in that time, how often did you get to speak to your mother? I didn't speak to her at all. I spoke to her for the first time after 12 months. And we had about a half an hour phone conversation. And I had my family representative sitting right next to me. And we are not allowed to say anything that they don't want us to say. I was not allowed to basically put across what happened to my jaw and the things that were going on. Because if I said something that seemed as manipulative to the staff, I'd get in trouble, I could lose my level, I cannot talk to my mom anymore, stuff like that. We have been told by the school and by all the parties that be that we were not to listen to our children, that we should listen to the family rep because the children can manipulate and will manipulate us. And I believe that, I trusted that. Former WASP employee Amberly Knight says that's no accident. We were told that if a parent had a concern or if their child had a concern then we should just tell them that their parent was or the child was manipulating and lying. Uh, I wasn't given much training as far as how to help the kids. A lot of my training, if, if you can call it training, was how to manipulate the parents. Um, we were always told that a parent, a child should never leave the program unless they turned 18 or graduated. What's this? This is the starfish storm, which is the transition student. Joe's reached the top of the privilege tree. That's where I live right now. Only a third of kids get there. You see, we got we can have like TV and VCR, guitars. We got a refrigerator and stereos and stuff. And this is where you end up when you go through the program. It makes you count your blessings, I guess, or. Like, you really appreciate things like that. Joe will be going home to his parents soon. For children who flunk, it's a different story. They send you an exit plan, which is like your... It's what you get if you don't graduate the program. And if I didn't graduate the program and I left when I was 18, then they said I'd get $25 and a ticket to Columbus, Ohio, which is where I live. But $25, and like, that means I'm on my own. Parents are sold a progressive tailored education as part of the program package. There is a computer room, but learning is self-study with textbooks. Private tuition is available at an extra cost to parents, who also have to pay for pens, pencils and paper, on top of fees of almost £19,000. Although teachers are on hand to answer questions, speaking to Joe it seems there's not much traditional teaching going on. With the book, you'll read it and you do chapter work, which is, you know, notes on a piece of paper, and you turn that in and then you take a test. What happens when you take the test? I mean, how do you pass, graduate? All right, well, if you get, say, like a 75%, that'd be a C. So you need a B at least. You need at least an 80% on these tests. So what you do is you look at the, you look at the book again, you redo the chapter work, and then you, redo the, you retake the test until you get an 80 Joe has been highly motivated and has gained enough credits to be accepted to university, something he doesn't believe he would have achieved at home. But that's not the case for all children. There's other people that are stuck on the same grade for like two years here, but that's just because they just refuse to do it. Or can't? Um, not capable? They have, they have special education. They, they, some of these kids can do it. Like, they, just, they just don't want to or they have no motivation to do it. They just don't want to like sit down and comply just by taking a test. Do you think your parents are fully aware of what goes on within the school and the discipline they use, the education and stuff? Are they fully aware of, of what goes on? No, I'm not sure. Well, the education is saying it sucks. <laughs> Literally. But I'm told they've got a very good education program going on here. Education, my ass. <laughs> no, no offense, no offense, sir. Huh? We calculate parents pay almost four and a half million pounds a year in fees. We were told a large percentage goes on administration, weekly therapy and character building seminars for students and their families. WASP's facilities as a whole take 50 million pounds a year. 
We wiped out our savings and we are still um, paying on this loan that we have the next 20 years to pay on. Um, but it's created a very bad hardship for our, our family. So, and I know many of the families have refinanced their homes two and three times to be able to afford the program. So it, uh, it's a very expensive program. There is, there is profit in the schools and we use that money for improvements, but we also have to pay our shareholders as well because we are a, a company, a corporation that has shareholders. And who are the shareholders? I am one of the primary shareholders. The other individuals asked not to be named. Okay. But I, I am the primary shareholder. I met the president of WASPS, who happens to be JK's dad, Ken K. I put to him what UNICEF had said about the punishment regime in Jamaica. What do you say to that? I say that I am totally against uh, violating uh, reasonable rights of children or abusing them in any fashion, mentally, verbally, physically. Uh, I am not always 100% sure that the United Nations is, has the expertise uh, or, or the ability to discern the difference. I hear these complaints and I'm very concerned about them, but then let's do something about them. The people who claim that they've, I, I do, as a WASP, I go in and type. As the WASP director, you can do something about it, you can. I do not Shut. control what they do. You can disassociate yourself with Tranquility Bay, who are carrying out what UNICEF say are issues of child abuse. Yeah, allegations and accusations are different than facts. A month after this interview, WASP school in Mexico, Casa by the Sea, was raided and closed by the authorities, who found four children showing signs of physical and emotional mistreatment. We have thousands and thousands of positive letters and emails from satisfied customers. The whole controversy is very interesting to me. Never lose sight is the bottom line is just think if we shut down our business and stop doing what we're doing, eventually one of the, these kids that would come to us will die. Looking back on it, I still think it's an absolutely wretched place and they wanted to make it tough because they wanted to try to affect change from the kids. I, I look at it now and it, it did help a lot and I mean there's no real point to, to, to stew and brew about the, uh, the things that happened that I really had no control over. I would say that the stuff I was doing was bad but I would say the punishment they gave me was not right. Like it was no one deserves that type of punishment. Are you happy? Um, yeah, now that I'm leaving and like, it's like, I don't know, it's like the most success I've ever experienced in my life. I've been away from Jamaica for over three years now and I still have nightmares. I, I can't get it out of my mind. <laughs>